Hello everyone, welcome to Antenna of Topic. It's a little bit for us not here in pencil, but we're still glad to share our presentation, Smile, Secure Memory Introspection for Live on Clive. We are three authors, Lei and Feng Wei from the South Lane University of Science and Technology, Xu Hua from the Singapore Management University. First of all, we'll list the outline of this presentation and we will introduce the motivation, our revenue, design, and the evolution of the smell. And finally, we will conclude this project. For a general question, why is uncle level introspection needed? Since InterSGS provides a user-level trusted environment for security-sensitive code and data execution, the uncle level owner hopes to introspect the runtime uncle level for various goals. For example, analyzing the reason of the crash, or locate the error execution, or debug the control flow, or verify the runtime state. In summary, the owner wants to understand what has happened in Uncle Lev. But why is it hard to introspect Uncle Lev's? There are many reasons. It is infeasible to introspect the Uncle Lev memory by using the traditional memory introspection approaches. That's because the InterSGS enclave is a black box. The enclave memory cannot be accessed from outside. Another reason is the users cannot unconditionally trust the safe report made from the enclave inside introspection. Uh, that's because the enclave is under serious attacks. The external attack and the internal attack enclave code vulnerabilities exponents may affect enclave code execution. Finally, the user cannot determine which enclave an EPC page belongs to. That's because the target OS is in untrusted state. The adversary can use the same enclave image and launch it in a malicious computer. Among the untrusted host attacks and code bugs or isolation from the SGS voting, the user cannot identify the authenticity of the enclave and also cannot verify the generalness of the result. So in summary, a powerful adversary can easily spoil the introspection. So we will propose our skin, smell. As mentioned before, smell is short for the secure memory introspection for level and level. To address the above challenges, the smell needs to Meet the following three assurances. First, we need to assume the enclave authenticity, that means the introspection should up on the expected enclave. Then, we need to issue the introspection generalness, that means the introspection results should be true and not affected by corrupt enclave code. Finally, we need to issue the security preserving. That means the added introspection should not undermine the default enclave security. Then, with the above three principles, the smell is desired to ensure the owner of the an enclave and only the owner retrieves his enclave contents at runtime. We design the smell on the hardware platform uh, is x86 based device with SMM and SGX hardware features. In most of the Intel CPU, these functions are built in. We will give some background of the SGX and SMM. SGX TCB alone is insufficient for the memory introspection, and the SGX neither deals with the enclave software compromise nor supports the runtime movement. But SMM wants an independent execution environment, wants the core switch from the Protocol modern to SMM, it will hunt and restore the host applications. The SMM can access the normal memory in a high range without relying on the untrusted OS. That means the SMM has the ability to control the enclave execution environment. With this model, the user can securely introspect the target enclave with the following workflow first. Enclave owner sends the introspection request to the target platform, and the target OS passes the reference to the SM agent. 
Then the SM engine the launched the smart session to verify the enclave inner introspection code. Finally, the enclave equips and passes the request memory to the owner. The SM engine's responsibility is to authenticate the enclave and assess the trustworthiness of the introspection code in enclave. We then propose our basic idea of the smell. The approach of the smell is that the SM engine authenticates the given enclave and establishes trust on a pieced code in the enclave. The trusted code then reports the enclave contents to the owner. To support the approach, we need to build the confined integration scheme for enclave authentication and trust establishment. The scheme is similar to the software attestation to get the chain of the trust like this. First, we use the anchor to verify the worker, then the worker to verify the enclave identity. Finally, with the trusted working enclave, they are to uh, introspect the request memory. The TCP of the smell is the union of the default TCPs for SDX and for SMM. Mm, the enclave security still depends on the SDX TCP and the SM engine does not get enclave contents or weak the security of the SDX. Next, we will introduce the details of how to design the smell. There are two parts to build the main function of the smell. First, we deploy the integration agent into the SMM, called the SM engine. The SM engine is to build the confined environment engine for the introspection and passes the signature for introspection result equation. And next, we add the introspection code into enclave, named AnchorStrader. AnchorStrader has the Anc code for trust bootstrapping and the worker attestation and also have the worker code for enclave identity checking and memory introspection. So we introduce the workflow of the smell. Uh, the steps in like this first, smell set up the interrogation session between the SM engine and the anchor reader to execute the confined environment protocol. And next, uh, the verified work dumps the requested EPC page to the owner with the equation. To support the confined integration protocol, we need to set up the confined environment with two steps. The first step is to control the system state of the CPU cores. The issue one core runs in the enclave code in product model and the remaining states in SMM. And another step is to restrict the enclave execution memory space as the finger shows that the enclave can only run the anchor page and the SSH page and output the data to the PI page. To understand the confined integration protocol, we need to know the anchor code is the smallest executable that can retain the expected random bytes when running in the confined environment with restricted the memory storage. An imposter leads to a more bytes for execution and therefore cannot return the expected random bytes. To achieve the enclave authentication, there are three steps check checking, including the anchor in integrate, worker integrate, and the enclave identity. We first introduce the anchor integrate checking. Anchor is the first piece of the code to run in the integration and the remain space fully fills with the random bytes to against the illegal instruction injection. The anchor will dump the SSA and anchor page data to the shared buffer. The SM agent in interrogation core will verify the dumping data. After passing the verification, the anchor becomes the first, very first trust foothold in the anchor level for subsequent verifications. And next, after the anchor is trusted, then the SM engine will release the restriction of the worker page and the anchor thread goes to dump the worker page data to the shared buffer. So the SM engine agent does a summary operation to verify the dumping code from dumping data from the work. After checked the anchor and the work code, 
the SM engine release the EP state page used for the Enclave report generation and then the worker executes the e report instructions to generate its report. And the worker will go on to return the MR Enclave from the report to the shared buffer. Uh, if the identity matched in the SM engine, the engine has successfully authenticated the enclave without using a default SDS local or remote data station. Once we verify the general enclave, the SM engine will pass the request and the signature to the enclave and release all enclave memory available. Then the worker introspects all requested memory and passes the self test to the owner. SM engine they will turn down the confined environment and terminal to the entire small session. With received the introspection result, the owner will verify the signature to confirm the generalness of the introspection result. Then we will give some test case to show the performance and the effectiveness of the smell. Here we show the test bed for our experiment. The platform is consistent with the Gigabyte motherboard and the Intel i5 CPU. Uh, this CPU supports the SDX and the SM hardware features. We use the Ubuntu for the operating system and we store the Intel SDX SDK. The version is the 2.5. After the experiment, we will get the overhead for each session of the smell introspection. In general, they will take 116 microseconds for the zero load integration session and another 120 microseconds for the IC equation. It also will take 2.1 microseconds for one page AS equation. For n page task, it will cost so many overhead. To improve the performance, we need to do some improvement to reduce the equation. Uh, for example, to share the AES key in material sessions with one time ISA, uh, once we can show the AES key in a secret state, it will have a noticeable performance improvement. After many test case, we can find the suitable scenario for the smell is the application functionality and the security demand. Over here, always the performance considerations. And also, the applications who want to require the enclave's runtime information for, for instance, or debugging purpose. And we have been studied the four test cases to show the effectiveness of the smell, uh, including the code integrate checking, SSS state checking, static checking, and enclave location verification. In those cases, we use the smell to copy out the corresponding enclave memory data, code, SSA, stack, and shared key. We use the stack checking as an example. We first launched an ROP attack up on experiment enclave. We use the SDX ROP project here, and we will start a smell session to introspect all stack frames. The introspection in work runs the anchor thread. It does not affect the stack data in attack thread. So with the dumped stack memory, we can find out the trends of the Galgate code as the thing shows. Also, the smell has some limitation. Due to the performance limitation, it does not recommend the smell for large-scale introspection or continuous enclave monitoring. There are also some improvement methods like break a large task into several smaller subtasks or block other threads from the execution by hooking the common enclave entry to reduce the host hunting time. So we we'll have a conclusion of the project. That smell is the lower system for SDX enclave level memory introspection with enclave authenticity, data generalist, and the security preservation assurance. Uh, also, the confined integration protocol that harmonizes the power of the x86 SMM and the cryptography to securely bootstrap trust on an enclave. The overhead of smell based introspection comprises a fixed overhead of 281 
micro things and the yin and love equation overhead glowing nearly with the workload. Uh, we can claim this is the first tool that enables an enclave owner to connect on demand runtime data from the enclave under software exploitation attack. That's all of the presentation, and I thank you for listening it. Okay, I think we should give the authors a chance to answer a question. Any questions? Yes, we have a question. Uh, so thank you for the presentation. Uh, my question is, do you just modify the enclave binary to incorporate the worker uh, for interest Introspection. Lei, can you hear the question? Uh, he is muted, I think. Sorry? Yeah, we couldn't hear you, Lei. Can you speak now? Oh, okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Uh, sorry, can you repeat the question again? Uh, my question is that. that do you modify the enclave binary to incorporate the introspection functionalities? Uh, uh, no, we do not modify the uh, uh, binary of the enclave. We just uh, add the uh, work page and the anchor page into the enclave once we compare. Once we comparing the uh, image. So you you by comp by you by seeing compile the image. Is that yeah. like creating the enclave binary? Yeah, yeah. But with all the, the um, mm, yeah, that's true. We we need to add the add the functions into the normal enclave. Okay, so uh, after the enclave binary is modified, the measurement is going to be changed, right? Mm. Uh, the movement can be changed. Uh, yeah, I mean the measurement of the enclave. Uh, yes. So then how can the user do attestation to the enclave? Uh, we need to add the function, but the, the introspection function as a part of the normal enclave. So uh, once we measure the enclave, we need to measure the whole uh, including the uh, uh, angus rhythm or the walk rhythm into the enclave together. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, we're, we're actually out of time, so I think we should take further questions on, uh, on the hop-in uh, online thing. I, there were actually a lot of good questions and uh, answers going on there, so we can take it there. Thank you, everybody.